I'm going to release this rope so you can hold the wheel. Sure. Keep the course straight. Oh, right. And I'm, I'm going to open. Like, actually. I'm going to open the zipper. Nicholas, am I actually steering it? You're steering it, yes. Okay. Okay. There's this, you know, those lovely lines in the Odyssey when they talk about the um, the sails bellying out suddenly, yeah. like a lady's belly. Okay, straight on the mountain, okay. where the clouds are. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Captain, I'll do it. And I'll try and miss the massive boat in front of us. <laughs> in his story, Odysseus managed to navigate these seas with basic wooden sailing ships, even rafts. A relief to see that Captain Nikos sails with the latest technology. Oh, that's cool. Is this us? Yes, that's us. Ah, cool. This is uh, the course we are heading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 200 years ago, we have these instruments. I mean, there was uh, always there was an idea that uh, the people in ancient Greece, they used to follow the coast. Mm -hmm. But no, they didn't. No. They knew how to navigate in the open sea. You know, the story is that Odysseus took 10 years to Ithaca from Troy. I mean, if just directly, how many days do you think it would have taken him to sail that? With any kind of conditions, I mean, like 20 days, one month. Maximum. Maximum, no, yeah. no more. 10 years sailing in the Mediterranean, it's impossible. It, true, but he kept on getting distracted. All sorts of things happen to him along the way, don't they? Yeah, quite interesting trip, anyhow. <laughs>